Over the past 20 years, semi-arid regions of southern Kenya have seen the rise of farmer-led irrigation along sand rivers. Farmers discovered an abundance of water beneath the dry riverbeds, which they now use for everyday needs, including irrigation of their fields. Improved access to markets and rural urban networks has made this form of agriculture increasingly popular. Both local and migrant farmers have benefited from growing fruits and vegetables, some of which are exported to European countries. However, concerns about the sustainable use of land and water resources for food production persist. These are among the issues that the Polka Project aims to explore. In Kajiado County, Kenya, the pastoralist Maasai people have traditionally used these lands for herding. This area is now undergoing a transformation with a variety of economic activities taking place, including agriculture, supported by irrigation from water from sand riverbeds. Many of these lands are owned by the Maasai, who lease them to those willing to cultivate them. One of the main objectives uh, of the Polka project is to understand the local practices uh, and knowledges that are related to food production, one of which is the abstraction of water and uh, how the, 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 the farmers or the, the farmers in the area are able to get water to do irrigation. What you can see in the white background, that is actually a seasonal river. They are called sand rivers. This river has uh, lots of deposit of sand. What this does is that it stores uh, water in shallow uh, alluvial aquifers beneath. Uh, these aquifers uh, have plenty of water that can be used for not only domestic use but also for irrigation. Over the last 10 to 15 years, uh, farmers who are coming to this area from other places in, in the country to exploit the water but also the land that uh, the masses are very willing to lease out to them so that they can carry out uh, irrigation activities. Some research has shown that farmers' practices such as planting trees along the riverbanks to stop erosion, using submersible pumps and building cement platforms to protect them from floods, have been very helpful to smallholder farmers to improve the use of sand river water. This is a very dry area that uh, hasn't been known for any irrigation activities, but because of the water availability and the land uh, close by to the river, is slowly turning to very productive land that uh, farmers can now grow uh, crops such as tomatoes, watermelons, French beans which are uh, even exported to European countries. The farming activities are changing the lives of communities living along these banks. Maasai women, in addition to their traditional duties of household management, childcare, and craft making, are now working as produce pickers, thereby earning extra income for their families. You know, there is a place uh, for women in that food, in that chain of production of uh, commercial production of of vegetables for the market. Some of the challenges that, that they are facing is that the farming that is in the area is uh, usually commercial farming. There is a lot of chemicals, uh, agrochemicals that are being used on the farms. Some of them have complained of having some respiratory problems uh, that is related to, to these agrochemicals. We still don't fully understand how extracting water from sand rivers affects the ecosystem services these rivers provide to the people and wildlife. Ecosystem services are the benefits that natural environments offer, such as clean water, fertile soil, and habitats for aquatic life. Since sand is the second most extracted natural resource after water globally, excessive sand mining in Kenyan sand rivers could have severe consequences for these ecosystems and their aquatic life. In McQuenny County, irrigation has faced challenges because of overharvesting of sand. Uh, what is left is just uh, rocks, the base rocks that uh, are not able to hold any water after the rains have, have passed. People in this area started realizing the adverse effect of sand harvesting. They slowly started burning sand harvesting and this led to the formulation of, uh, of a law by the Makueni County to establish a sand river uh, authority that would uh, regulate the harvesting and the utilization of sand. Implementing these laws and policies is not always a straightforward process. So we have a challenge of the policy implementation because the national government is on charge and the catchment is at the county level. 
So what we are asking the national government and the county government to do is to come together and try to make sure that the policy from the national government is transferred to the county and the rules are funded so that they can manage the, the, the rivers and the catchments. One of the goals of the Polka project is to bridge the gap between governmental policies and local practices aiming to improve the conservation of sand rivers. In this river, there is very minimal sand harvesting because the community, uh, from their experience with the Muon River, they have prevented their river from sand harvesting and the only sand harvesting which is done in this place is for domestic purposes. Presence of this uh, sand in this area has helped the farmers to get enough water for irrigation and also they have planted a lot of napier grass as a way of slowing down the speed of water when it rains which enables deposition of, of sand within the sand river and this has really helped the, the farmers uh, especially in, in the conservation of the water. The extraction of water from sand rivers in Kenya has brought positive changes to the communities living along these banks. However, more research is needed to understand these practices and their environmental and social impacts. To achieve sustainable outcomes that benefit both people and the environment, it's crucial to ensure these practices are carried out responsibly. It's important to remember that water is vital, not only for human needs, but also for sustaining ecosystems and supporting Kenya's diverse wildlife. Mm -hmm.